excuse the mess behind me. It is uh, messy and I still have my Christmas tree up. Don't judge me, it's after Valentine's Day. I kind of like having the decorations up. I'm contemplating not taking it down for a while, but all right, so in about two months, my best friend and I are going on a backpacking trip. I, I don't want to say across Europe because we're only really going to four countries. It's only for three weeks. So we're going to, we're doing the whole Iceland stopover thing. So we're stopping in Iceland, then we're going to Amsterdam, um, then we're going to uh, Belgium, and then we're going to Germany. So each place, we're kind of spending a week in each place, except for Iceland, we're just spending a day there. Um, and we're staying with different people that we know, we're staying in hostels, we're doing the whole backpacking experience. And so I thought I'd do a couple videos, um, kind of based on what I'm bringing a little bit. Um, so I'm an artist. If you've seen any of my other videos, you probably know this already. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that this trip was something that I was also kind of working as well as, um, enjoying and having a vacation and whatnot. So I have compiled a travel art kit that I am bringing with me and then I can do sketches and things and potentially use those as inspiration for things that I'll do in the future. Potentially not, like I don't know, but I enjoy sitting and drawing in different locations and so I thought I would do this. Um, so I kind of did a test run with my kit. I went to the Dominican Republic with my family about uh, three weeks ago and so I did a test run with my kit to see if I liked everything that was in it and if I wanted other things, whatnot. And I'm pretty happy with it. I might get rid of, I have some Copic markers that I might get rid of because markers aren't my strong suit. I prefer to just use watercolor really, even though it does take longer for it to dry and that can be irritating. But I do like the results of watercolor better. So I'll show you what's in my little pencil case and then I'll show you the um, sketchbooks that I'm bringing. I'm just bringing two um, and I'll show you I'll show you a couple of the pictures that I've already painted from the Dominican but I thought that at the end of my traveling I could potentially do a sketchbook video as well because I like watching those and all right so First off, uh, my watercolor palette. So I have a Winsor Newton travel palette that I have been using and it's quite, quite messy as you do, you know, quite messy. And I have a mixture of the Winsor Newton uh, watercolors, but then I also got some, what are these, Pebeo, Pebeo watercolor. Um, and they come out and they just sort of just fit. So there's some that are kind of raised up, you can see. And uh, so they, I had to kind of like force them to go into the little slots, but they, they work and they're the colors that I'm wanting to bring with me. I really liked them while being in the Dominican. They were really tropical colors, so I'm not sure if maybe I should switch them out for Europe because it's gonna be a slightly different color palette while I'm there, but whatever. I'm just gonna stick with it and if I need to buy something while I'm there, that's always an option. What my dad always says is when you're packing, don't be too worried, um, just remember any medication and any identification and your visa. And then if you forget anything else, you can buy it. <laughs> my dad's not a, like a spendy person, so I'm always really surprised when he says that, but he, it's a, sort of his way of like making sure that we're not stressed when we do that. So it does make sense. Um, so I have a little eraser. It's just a little white eraser. Pretty basic. Then I have some Copic markers. Let me see if I can find them all. Again, I might, I might do without these. Alright, so I have this selection of colors. I've got, let's see, pale blue, burnt umber, green-gray, light walnut, uh, grayish olive, I love that name, grayish olive, um, pale lavender, brick beige, verdigris, verdigris? Interesting. 
uh, Bush. So those are the Copic ones I have and like I said I'm not a crazy big fan of Copic markers. I can do without. I like I like them but I can do without and so I might I might just do without. I also have four no three um, brushes with water in them. Um, I had never used these before I went to the Dominican and I love them. Like really I was in love with them. They were just like such a nice way to be able to not have to bring a little tub of water with you to do watercolor. It was very mess free and easy and they worked well. The brushes I mean are not like amazing natural brush tips right but they are pretty decent and I probably wouldn't do any of the stuff that I'm wanting to sell using this stuff but for just doing sketches and quick things they are great. So those are awesome and then my trusty black pen where I think I only have two of them so I'll probably bring more when I actually go to Europe, but for the Dominican I felt confident that two Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen in S in black would be good, so they're just really fine black marker pens. And that's what I outline everything, I, I do that with the stuff that I sell as well. I like that kind of um, illustrative quality that it gives to it, just like a black outline. And then sometimes I'll just do my entire picture with this as well, shading and all crosshatch shading. Um, I have a mechanical pencil because these things are amazing and I don't think that I would like art as much if I had to sharpen my pencil all the time still. I have another mechanical pencil and I just use the Bic Matic Grip in 0.5 millimeters. And I have a pen. This is my Tate Modern Pen. Um, I lived in England uh, twice in the past um, eight years, nine years, and both times, well the first time I went to the Tate and saw these and I was like, oh, I'll, they're really cool, I'll get one. So I got like two of them and I used them and I loved them and I lost one and I was like, no, what if I lose this other one? So then the next time that I went to live in London, I was like, okay, I need to go and see if the Tate still has these. They did. They had more colors, and so I have a buttload of these still, which is great. And I don't know why, I just love the pens. It's like, they're such a basic blue pen. They're not even black. They're blue. But I still, still love it. So I have a pen, just because you never know when you're going to need a pen. And then I have a buttload of, I never know how to say this, Stabilo, um fine liners and they're just like a package that I got when I was living in Austria and basically all the colors and again this is sort of in the same vein as the Copic markers I don't I don't love using these um, in general when I do artwork but I mean they fit in my pencil case and there's not anything else I would switch them out for so I might as well have them just in case I want to use them right so all of that goes into this, uh, I think this is from the body shop actually, it came with like a package of like, I don't know, maybe like mango, mango body butter and body scrub and stuff and so this is just the one that I use and I like it a lot because you can see what's in there and you can get to it. So that is what's in my pencil case, my travel pencil case. Um, and then I was really cute and I did really cutesy travel journal 2016 so this is one that I followed a tutorial I can't remember the the name of the person that I did the tutorial from but if I remember I'll link it down below I'll try and find that for you um, so basically I made my own journal because it's really hard to find um, the particular type of watercolor paper in journal form I really love uh, warm press, or sorry, hot press, um, like 180 pounds at least, if not uh, thicker, and very few companies do a hot press watercolor sketchbook, and so I decided to make my own, so this is just with some, um, uh, shoot, 
I can't remember the watercolor people. I'll, I'll link it below. Basically, I had a pad of watercolor paper that I wasn't using for anything else, and so I decided to make this. So I made a little cutesy cover page. Travel Journal 2016. Um, and then I did a couple, you know, test sketches to try it out. This is my home studio. Um, I did some trees. I love trees. Did some beach stuff. And then another beach one. So, yeah, it's just like, uh, this is my sort of sketch, really rough sketch, sketchbook, you know what I mean? So uh, what I did was I just kind of sketched whatever I wanted in this one. And then this one is sort of my final sketchbook. So this will be my like nice final finished piece. Um, so I did like a nice little thing where I did the map for the Dominican Republic. And then I did, they had, the place that we stayed had horses and I tried polo for the first time, which was kind of exciting. Um, so I did a little um, piece about polo and I did some jumping while I was there and then I did um, for my last sketchbook you can see that I had the last picture there and so I did that in kind of a final form in this one and so I think that's what I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do some test sketches in the small sketchbook and then in this one I'll do the final sketches so this is just a moleskin it's one of the art plus ones um, and it is the can't remember how big it is. I want to say like five, five by eight, maybe is what I'm guessing. I have a little LL Bean sticker on the front. I like putting stickers on my sketchbooks, so that was the first one that I put on there. Um, and this one I just got on Amazon. It's not the easiest one to track down, like in person in the small town that I live in. Uh, so far, I like it. It's a little bit more. Um, has a little bit more texture than I like, so I think it is a cold press. They don't really say, they don't have a lot of information uh, on it, because they're just like, moleskin, art plus, and so it is a thicker paper than a regular moleskin would be, um, and it is nice. So then I also have like, pictures for Iceland, and then I kind of gave myself space based on how long we're going to be there. So, yeah, that's all my art supplies and I'm hoping to just be able to sit in cafes and sketch architecture and landscape and you know all this stuff um and maybe people my people aren't the best but I might attempt to sketch some people who knows um we're going for three weeks so it'll be a good kind of chunk of time to be able to you know collect um some images and I'm I'm really looking forward to it so I'm hoping to do a couple more travel videos. I want to do one on the stuff that I'm packing as far as style goes. I have been looking all over the internet at other people's recommendations for backpacking and all this stuff. So I thought I would just kind of show what I'm bringing. I've been backpacking before, just once, um, but then I've traveled a lot outside of that. And so I thought that my opinion might be something that people would like to know about. Um, so I'm going to do kind of what's in my travel backpack and then I'm gonna do a what's in my travel makeup as well because that's something as well that I'd like to um, that I like to know what other people are bringing it just interests me what people how they can like scale down their everyday you know and then still have kind of a trendy stylish look so I know that's not really art related but if you've subscribe to my channel or if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that my stuff is not necessarily all art and it's not necessarily all style it's just kind of everything that I like and I hope that it's not like I don't know if you want to watch the style stuff watch the style stuff if you want to watch the art stuff watch the art stuff but you know I like posting videos of whatever I want to watch and whatever I like posting videos of so I hope that it, that's okay with my viewers that are watching this um so I will say goodbye, and I will see you in, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks. I still have to buy a few things for my um, traveling, so it probably won't be a couple, like, it'll, it'll be a bit before I put those other two up. But I'll see you soon, hopefully, and I hope you enjoy my video. Like it if you liked it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I do sporadic videos about whatever I want to do, and I hope you enjoy that. Okay, bye.